here we are. Just come across Indian. Look at these. Revelator L. As I said, I think, you know, Indian are really making a big play now to take over the mantle, really, uh, of Harley. They're not there yet, not in terms of numbers. And watch out my other videos for the for talking about the Harley versus Indian, especially on the Challenger. But, I mean, you can't argue with some of the looks. This FTR 1200 is a great looking bike as well. And this Hooligan Flat Tracker. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. So nice. That FTR is just something else as well. You know, if I was going for a, another sort of bike, I would seriously consider that. Nice. Get really good reviews as well. That one. And you got the FTR 1200 in its different guises. This is a rally version. Beauty. Oh, that is a really nice look. Totally different uh, uh, setup this year. Last year they were all on racks, and there's a few bikes in front, they're all on racks. Now they've got a much bigger stand. And this is what I mean by Indian. Each year they're getting bigger and bigger, more of a presence, more of an influence. That rally, I mean, love that rally. Lovely bike. Lovely. Look, I know, I mean, I know there's a lot of hype around Indian at the moment. And I think this is where, for me, I'm not so sure about them in terms of the, the front end styling. Never really liked this. The Dark Horse, the Chief, like, like everything else about it, apart from that, the front end. That's where it gets a bit... Ugh. Unless, obviously, you're into your big tourers then. That monster. Definitely with these, uh, the Chieftain and the Roadmasters, you know, and um, you know all their tour range. I mean, it's say if if you're into that kind of big tourer bike, you know, that big making a big statement on the road, the lots of chrome and stuff. Yes, definitely. But again, I say this is from a styling point of view, I'm just not so sure about this. It just seems really boxy to me. But you know, I know I'm picking holes in it and you know, try not to hate me too much. Look at that, beauty. I think with the right colour combination, you know, it works great works great. Oh, this is no, this is really nice. This is something completely new to Indian from since last year. Look, they got it from, they're making a big play of the whole heritage as well. Where they've all started from, where they've come, gone to. I mean, look at these, beautiful, the board tracker. Lovely. That thug. Custom scout, very nice, beautiful. This is the one. <clears throat> this is the one everybody's talking about. Challenger Limited. This is the one. It, it's definitely major competitor for Harley Davidson and their tour range. Again, if you like all that kind of thing, fine. Limited, not so sure. Dark Horse, yes, definitely. Much more my style. But it's a big brute of a bike, isn't it? For me, I love these smaller bikes from India. You know, the Scout. And the front end isn't as bad for me as the other ones. Not as pronounced. So it's a, it's a lot 
it's a lot more um, usable, I think. And it looks a lot better on the road. See that, you know, with that front head like there, that's the way it should be. Nice. If they put that headlight on the rest of these bikes, I think it'd be better. No doubt Indian, but they've got a impressive stand here this year. Yeah, look at that Indian. Beauty. Made by Crazy Horse as well. Custom build. Nice. Very nice. Let's going to have another one final look at uh, Indian. As I say, they've really put on a, a good show for me. I've got to say, they're my best in show. Whilst I don't really care for the styling of the Indians per se, or a lot of them, actually overall I love the, the, the actual bike, love the design, just never keen on that front end and that headlight, just don't like that headlight. But in terms of the actual show, great. Love it. Love that one. Look at that. What's that one? Yeah, nice. Yeah, I mean, look, especially with this uh, this retro lineup here that they've got. Nice. A 1940s scout. Look at that. Beauty. Board wrecker. No doubt, Indian have uh, taken a leaf out of Harley's book in terms of the show. The show on uh, here for Motorcycle Live. They're making a big play, definitely. And as I said in the other videos, Harley watch out because they're coming on with technology now as well as branding, as well as lifestyle. Scout Trike, Midwest Indian. Yeah, that Roadmaster there, look at that. 116 cubic inch engine. Look, I gotta say, that it's not my style, but you can't deny that they are impressive looking bikes of that particular design, of that style. You know, and this is all iconic as well. I mean, look at it, I mean, the badging. It looks great, but I, said, I just can't get over that front end. I just can't get over it, I'm afraid. But in general, they are classy looking bikes. I think for me though, it'd have to be the Dark Horse. The Dark Horse, that FTR 1200. I'm gonna have to show you again, because that's just, look at that, that Dark Horse Chief, that's, that's pretty special actually. That's nice. And then obviously the FTR 1200. There we go, on that FTR rally, that looks pretty, pretty awesome as well actually. Let's have a good look at that one. Yeah. I love the way it's got it side mounted in Monoshop as well. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, look. There's no doubt that the Scouts, the FTR, for me, are the ones to look out for. That Challenger, yeah, I mean, if you're into that big Tourer, definitely. Interesting, the ones that I like the most here, Indian, and the, uh, the Royal Enfield. They've been uh, two good stands, actually.